Good morning all. I hope you are doing good. Today we will be doing previous year questions for the topic nested for loop. I have compiled all the previous year questions from year 2012 to 2019 for this topic. And in the description box the link is there for the PDF format. And you can download that, solve that, any problem, any query, please do comment. आगे बढ़ने से पहले पीडीएफ का एक लुक देख लेते हैं इसमें 2012 से लेकर 2019 तक सब क्वेश्चंस इस टॉपिक के हैं विद द सॉल्यूशन आप क्वेश्चन देखिए ट्राई टू डू इट योरसेल्फ अगर कहीं पर कोई दिक्कत हो देन ओनली यू रेफर टू द सॉल्यूशन या फिर क्वेश्चन कंप्लीट करने के बाद सॉल्यूशन को चेक करिए सेक्शन ए के क्वेश्चन हैं जैसे देखिए 2013 में सेक्शन ए का ये क्वेश्चन है 2014 में भी सेक्शन ए में आया है 2015 का सेक्शन बी का क्वेश्चन है लाइक दिस ऑल द क्वेश्चन आर कंपाइल्ड प्लीज डू एंड कमेंट सो लेट्स बिगिन नाउ फॉर दिस टॉपिक इन सेक्शन ए अराउंड टू मार्क्स क्वेश्चन कैन कम दैट टू जनरली इट इज आउटपुट बेस्ड क्वेश्चन and section b which is of 15 marks question each that one either the question can come directly write the format write the pattern based question for this topic or this topic can be included in function overloading program or menu driven which you will be doing using switch case so we have either directly the questions are asked in section b or they can be with function overloading or you have with menu driven so these three types of questions can be asked in section b from the topic nested for loop okay so let's start in previous video we covered the topic nested for loop if you want to go through that video the link is given in the description box many programs are there please go through that any doubt please do comment now i am taking a question for the year 2009 according to this question you have to generate a triangle or, or inverted triangle depending upon the input given by the user so you have triangle or inverted triangle if the user says input 1 and then you will ask the number of terms and accordingly the output will be generated and for inverted triangle you have to give input as 2 and the inverted triangle will be generated according to the number of terms generated so this is with switch case we'll be doing it with switch case menu driven program so i'm just rubbing this and then writing the program you can take the screenshot of this question okay now we'll do the program for this particular question so here are the programming statements for this since we'll be using scanner object so import java.util create the scanner object and then you will display the menu using print statement input the user's choice int ch equals to sc dot next int then enter the number of terms in n variable n equals to sc dot next int and then we'll be using switch case because it is menu driven program if the choice is one we have to write the statements for performing first option and if the choice is two we'll be writing the statements for second pattern now case one case one is your If case one, one, two, two, three, 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 triangular pattern, right angle to triangle. I told you if the numbers are same in one row, in each row the values are same, then printing variable will be i variable. That is the outer loop variable will be the printing variable. You can refer to the previous video of this topic for further details. So we'll be taking the loop i equals to. one and how many rows we want depending upon the number of terms entered by the user so that is n so i less than equals to n i plus plus and for j 
int j equals to 1, j less than equals to i, j plus plus, after that you will be using print statement and the printing variable will be i variable, not j. And here one entire row we want the same line and then once the row is over then we want to shift to the next line. So in the inner loop you will be using print not print ln. After the inner loop is over then we will use a statement system dot out dot print ln to bring the cursor to the next line after this will close the outer for and then will give break statement. Similarly, we will do case 2. Here it is inverted. Inverted right angled triangle. So, int i equals 2. How many times? First time according to the number of terms given in the question. So, the loop will start from n. i greater than equals to 1 and 4 to 1, 5 to 1. How you will move? By decrementing. So here I have used i minus minus. After this, the inner loop you will start. int j equals to 1. j less than equals to i. j plus plus. And again here, the printing variable will be the i variable, not j. Print i. After completion of this, you will give the print ln statement to shift the cursor to the next line. Close it, break and after that you can write default statement showing that the choice is incorrect or invalid choice. Suppose the user enters choice as 5. Now we have only two options here and if I give the value choice as 5, what should be the message? That message you have to give in default statement, invalid choice, inappropriate choice, wrong choice. Then after this you will close switch, main and class. I hope this program is clear. More programs are there in the PDF form which is given in the description box. Please check that. Okay. I wanted to discuss one more question with you of the year 2012 in which nested for loop is asked in function overloading program. Function overloading means in all the functions you should have the same name. Like here it is given in the question polygon, polygon, polygon. The first question says, the first function says that it has two arguments, one int type, one character type and you have to display a square with n number of rows and with ch character. Let's see this function first. Void polygon. Polygon int n char ch. This is already function header is given in the question. Let's take the programming statements nested for, for this. How many rows? n rows. 1 to n. Rows are n, so the outer loop will go from 1 to n. How many columns? Since it is square, so n number of columns also. So the inner loop will also grow from 1 to n. And which value you have to print in each column in each row? CH. Here if it is O, O will be printed. If I enter A, A will be printed. So whatever is the value of this CH will be displayed. And this will form your one square pattern. Once the inner loop is over, you will move to the next line using print ln statement. Where we give variable, where we give constant to refer this, you can go to the previous video of this topic. Now let's see the second function where you have two arguments int x and int y. And what should be the pattern, what should be the output, rectangular Pattern is there, number of rows are x and number of columns are given in y. So, int x, int y, again this function header is given in the question. We will take 
how many rows are there x number of rows so the outer loop will be from 1 to x how many columns y columns so the inner loop will be from 1 to y what you have to display at the rate symbol so print will be with at the rate symbol once the inner loop is over move to the next line using print ln statement okay and the third pattern very simple void polygon no argument is given in the question and we'll be using the for loop int i equals to 1 i less than equals to 3 i plus plus why 3 3 rows are there so i have taken i equals to 3 and then inner loop int j equals to 1 j less than equals to i why i i have taken here because in this first time in first row only one column is there second row two columns third row three columns so it is variable not fixed whenever it is fixed here also constant value will be there but when the number of columns in each row are different then always you will have the variable over here then j plus plus and in print statement system dot out dot print what you have to print yes asterisk symbol using print statement and after that print ln statement to shift to the next line after that you will close the outer loop and close this function so like this the nested for loops are used in function overloading switch case or directly the programs can be asked for that you can refer to the previous video the link is given in the description box I hope you are practicing, you are doing the questions properly. Any doubt, any problem, please ask that. Keep practicing. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe. Press the bell icon and hit the like button. All the best. God bless you.